We are beginning with breaking news from Washington. The second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump is over. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Steve Price. And I'm Alicia Summers. The Senate fell 10 votes short of convicting former President Trump for inciting the January 6th Capitol insurrection. The final vote, 57 guilty, including seven Republicans to 43 not guilty. 67 were needed for conviction. Now this morning, Senate Democrats and House impeachment managers appeared ready to call witnesses, which potentially could have extended that trial out for weeks. But after bipartisan negotiations, Negotiations, they abandoned that plan. We're going to have a full report on today's historic vote coming up at 5 30. The new Del Mar Fairground Superstation vaccinated, vaccinated over 500 people today, aiming for the goal of 5,000 doses a day. This comes as the Petco Park site is complete, is going to be closing temporarily starting tomorrow because they're running out of the vaccine. News 8's Heather Hope has the latest. And yes, it's exciting news that the Del Mar Fairgrounds has opened this site as the newest vaccination superstation for our county. But it's had limited hours in these first few days and it's closed early as it will have more times available as more vaccine becomes available. It's very tight right now in San Diego County. Dealing with vaccine dosage delays as another large scale vaccination superstation opens at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. We're blessed we have enough right now for the next few days. The Fairgrounds has 26 stations inside, nine different lanes and also one walking capability all by appointment only. Weather has played a factor, those windy storms that we had. And so, you know, to have these large halls that allow for drive in traffic, they allow for the air to move. More room here while downtown the Petco Park Superstation is shutting down for three days. We were uh, saddened to hear the news that our supply um, was not coming. A Moderna shipment shortage across the state impacting 12,000 people in San Diego County, mainly set to get their second dose. They're all being rescheduled via email for after Petco Park reopens Wednesday, doctors say don't worry about the delays. Fine to get vaccine up to 42 days after their first dose. Four vaccination sites, including Dodger Stadium, closed in L.A. due to the shortage. Governor Gavin Newsom spoke of the shot scarcity Friday in San Francisco. It's simple. The answer is there are not enough vaccines coming to the state of California. Yet he still announced opening of the next round of people eligible to get the vaccine starting March 15th, including those 16 and up with disabilities or various medical conditions. The state expects a shipment of 1.2 million doses next week. There are now six super stations in San Diego County, the Petco Park temporarily closing, one in Vista, Grossmont Center, Del Mar Fairgrounds, Cal State San Marcos, and a new one at the Linda Rhodes Rec Center in Vista opening Sunday. Del Mar vaccinated 288 people on its day one and 588 more Saturday with the goal to reach 5,000 or more per day. This is liquid gold. Every time we give an injection, and I'm going to get a chance to do some of that again today, um, we see people crying, certainly thank yous. Again, those needing that rescheduled vaccination time for Petco Park, they will be contacted. As for getting a time slot available here in Del Mar, you'll have to check out the county's vaccination site at vaccinationsuperstationsd.com. Steve and Alicia. Heather, thank you. Well, brush, floss, and pull up your sleeve. More and more dentists across the county are now giving COVID-19 vaccinations. It's all part of Governor Gavin Newsom's effort to speed up vaccinations across the state. News 8's Teresa Sardina meets with dentists at the Chula Vista Center, one of the county's vaccination sites. Steve and Alicia, dentists are now cleared to administer the COVID-19 vaccine. I spoke with a group of dentists from the San Diego Dental Society, and they are encouraging other dentists to become vaccinators. We're Dentists from the San Diego Dental Society meet at the Chula Vista Center vaccination site Saturday morning. When Governor Newsom asked the dentist to um, come in and help out with the role of the vaccination, we have over 70 dentists who enroll in the Medical Reserve Corps. From the office to vaccination sites across the county, dentists putting in several hours of their time. I mean, we inject our patient every day. We do it in the mouth.
help. Um, so, you know, when it comes to the Dell toy, it's different from being a dentist because most people really don't want to be in our chair. But here, people come in happy and excited. Dentists Dr. Hoa Adet and Dr. Lilia Larin are on the Dental Society board. Larin also serving on the board of the Hispanic Dental Association. I started yesterday. I vaccinated approximately 70 people. And it's because I speak Spanish, I was one of the most solicited because really we do need a lot of Latino uh, volunteers that can speak the language. They say being vaccinators speed up vaccination efforts and are hoping to see more dentists volunteer. Finally time the dentists are recognized as health professionals and not, not just dentists that we're fixing the mouth. We are in fact uh, in charge of the entire body. I'm wearing my face shield and this prevent any aerosol coming to us. A visit to Dr. Adet's dental office. She shows the extra safety measures measures implemented in dentistry. What this does is hydrochloric acid kills all the virus. And I'm just glad that myself and my colleague are able to take part in fighting this pandemic. For more on COVID-19 efforts with the San Diego County Dental Society, we'll have that information at CBS8.com. Reporting from Chula Vista, Teresa Sardina, News 8. Teresa, thank you. Well, switching to weather now, we have some strong winds returning to San Diego. The big question, though, is that storm also going to bring us some rain? Meteorologist Sean Stiles is here now with a first look at your breezy microclimate forecast. Sean? Yeah, it was windy out there today, and it continues to be windy as we take a look at the current wind velocities around the county. Not so much along the coastline as far as accelerated winds. Definitely breezy, though. But once you get where the lift of the earth starts to come into play, the acceleration of the winds really pick up over the foothills and into the mountains. So we're at 15, 20 miles an hour around, uh, say, Alpine and Sill Hill, up in around Mount Laguna, 23 and out in Boulevard, 36 miles per hour. So we've still got some wind out there and uh, that shows up with this high wind warning. It'll stay in place until tonight, basically over the down sloping areas of our county here with some pretty gusty conditions and offshore. We've got a gale warning out there and we also have a small craft advisory uh, windy through the night and then calming tomorrow. Possible sprinkle or two overnight, so that answers your question. Is there rain in the forecast ever so slightly? And then as we start the work week, President's holiday not being part of that, we'll see some chance of some wind and or uh, things starting to pick up. And looking at that three day forecast there, taking a look at things, we're going to see some changes in our weather as we get into the midweek. Steve and Alicia. All right, Sean, we'll see in a few minutes. Well, a scary scene in Montgomery Field where a corporate jet had a takeoff mishap just before noon. Fortunately, all five people on board escaped injury. Fire officials say the plane was taking off from the airport in Kearney Mesa when it went off the end of the runway. It hit the dirt, lost its landing gear before skidding to a stop on its belly. News 8's LaMonica Peters is working to find out more about what may have happened out there. She'll have a full report coming up at 6.30. Some good news for the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. The Gorilla Troop is back open for visitors as members of the troop have made a full recovery from COVID-19. Access to the troop has been limited over the last month after several gorillas showed symptoms and tested positive for the virus. But starting today, guests can watch the eight-member troop back to their normal selves, eating, drinking, and interacting with each other. That's